last session we discussed about the compound gear and, and reverted gear. So uh, we will solve in this lecture we will solve the numerical which is based on these two concepts. Okay. No. So here is our first numerical. First of all, what is the we will read the numerical a reverted gear. Here the numerical is based on a reverted gear right? as shown in the figure which is used to provide a velocity ratio of 10. What do you mean by this? The velocity ratio means when we give the input to, suppose we give the, give the input of gear 1 which is 1000 rpm, then output should be a 100 rpm. This is the meaning of this velocity ratio. Here overall velocity ratio is given means the N4 upon N1 is equal to 10. N4 upon N1 which is equal to 10. Module of the gear 1 and 2 is 3.5. Here the module of the gear 1 and 2 are given. Means uh, we generally use the M for a module. So here module for 1 and 2 is equal to M1 is equal to M2 is equal to 3.5 module is equal to 3.5 and of gear 3 and 4 is equal to 2 m means M3 is equal to M4 is equal to 2 m the number of T of any year should not be less than 20 means if the number of teeth on each year must be greater than 20 the center distance between the shaft is 175 center distance we denote center distance by CD is equal to 175 mm ok then find the number of teeth on each year we have to find number of teeth on each year we will denote T1, T2, T3, T4. Okay. Assume the speed ratio for gear 1 and 2 is 2.5. Speed ratio means here if we see gear 1 is larger, gear 1 is meshing with the gear 2. See here the gear 1 is meshing with the gear 2. This means the gear 1 has a more diameter. Diameter of the gear 1 is large and diameter of the gear 2 is small. Therefore, speed of the gear 2 is more. Therefore, N2 upon N1 is equal to 2.5. N2 upon N1 is equal to 2.5. And gear 3 and 4 is 4. Means N3 upon N4 is equal to 4. Okay? N3 upon N4 is equal to 4. So we have to find the number of teeth on each year. See here, first of all, I extend the gear, uh, compound gear and then we will solve the numerical. Okay? Here, the gear 1 is mounted on this shaft. I will mark this shaft as a a, this is an input shaft. Gear 4, which is I mark it as a C, and this is a total shaft. I will mark it as a B. The input gear is mounted on shaft A. This shaft A is an input shaft. With gear 1 is meshing with the gear 2. Gear 1 is meshing with the gear 2. Gear 2 and gear 3 both are mounted on the same shaft. Means what is meaning of this? Both the gears are mounted on same shaft. Due to this, the speed of both the gears is same. Means N2 is equal to N3. N2 is equal to N3. Means this gear and this gear are mounted on the same shaft. Therefore, these are both are rotating in same direction. Therefore, here is given that gear 1 is rotating in the clockwise direction. Gear 2 and gear 3 are rotating in the anti-clockwise direction. Now, gear 3 is meshing with the gear 4. Gear 3 is meshing with the gear 4 means gear 4 will rotate in opposite direction that of the gear 3. 
Okay, so this is our numerical. Then we have given that the center distance is 175 mm. The center distance means the distance between these two axes. This two shaft is 175 mm. The distance between the two shaft is 175 mm. Okay, so here means this distance between these two shafts means the radius of this gear plus radius of this gear. Similarly, here the radius of gear 1 plus radius of the gear 2 is equal to center distance. Similarly, for gear 3 and 4, the radius of gear 3 plus radius of the gear 4 is equal to 175. So, here this is our given. Now, here is the solution. Okay, what is the solution here? R1 plus R2 is equal to R3 plus R4 is equal to 175. How we write this? Because the center distance between two gears means radius of the gear 1 plus radius of the gear 2. And this is equal to radius of the gear 3 plus radius of the gear 4. Okay. So we have formula peak circle radius. Peak circle radius R is equal to M into T divided by 2. Peak circle is radius is equal to R is equal to M T divided by 2. Where M is the module of the gear, T is the number of wheel of the gear and 2 is divided by 2, therefore R1. So we can write it as R1 is equal to M1 into T1 divided by 2. Okay. R2 should be equal to M2 into T2 divided by 2. R3 is equal to M3 into T3 divided by 2. And R4 is equal to M4 into T4 divided by 2. Okay, so we will uh, mark this as equation 1. We will put this value in equation 1. Therefore, we will get M1 plus T1 divided by 2 plus M2 into T2 divided by 2 is equal to M3. Uh, so we will try for only for this it is equal to 175 okay so what is the value of m1 is equal to m4 which is equal to 3.5 so we will take this 3.5 by 2 as a common and we will get here t1 plus t2 is equal to 175 okay so we will provide it on this and therefore t1 plus T2 is equal to 175 into 3.5 divided by 2. Sorry, 175 into this 2 will go upside, this 3.5 will down. Therefore, so this and uh, this is equal to if we solve this T1 plus T2 is equal to 100. This is our equation number 1. Okay, so we have solved this area. Okay. Now, here we given that velocity ratio n2 upon n1, n2 upon n1 is equal to 3 point and is equal to 2 point. So this is equal to 2 point 5. We know that n2 upon n1 is equal to t1 upon t2. We have this formula that is n2 upon n1 is equal to t1 upon t2. This is also equal to 3 point, uh, sorry, 2.5. Therefore, t1 is equal to 2.5 into t2. t1 is equal to 2.5 into t2. We will put this value of t1 in equation number 2. 
therefore we indicate p1 plus p2 is equal to 100 p1 is equal to 2.5 p2 plus p2 is equal to 100 therefore 3.5 into p2 is equal to 100 therefore p2 is equal to if we take this division we will get 28.57 p2 is equal to 28.57 but number of teeth on a gear should be a whole number therefore we will write this p2 is approximately equal to 29 don't make it as 30 or any p2 is equal to 29 so if p2 is equal to 29 and we have a formula that p1 plus p2 is equal to 100 therefore p1 is equal to 100 minus 29 that is equal to 70 therefore this is equal to 71 okay now we have this now we will in this same we will see here we have that r 3 plus r 4 is equal to 175 Plus R four is equal to one seventy five, and R three is equal to M three into T three divided by two plus M four into T four divided by two is equal to one seventy five. What is the value of M three and M four? M three and M four is equal to two. We will take these two outside. This is equal to two T three plus two T four divided by two divided by two. Is equal to 175. We will cancel this. T3 plus T4 is equal to 175. We will mark this equation 3. T3 plus T4 is equal to 175. Okay. Now here, N3 upon N4. The N3. Sorry. Here we will get N4 upon N3. Because speed of the gear. Uh, four will be a more as compared to gear three. So we will get gear in three divided by n. If we see, sorry, 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 sorry. It is equal to n four divided by n three. Because the gear three is the size of the gear three is large and size of the gear four is small. Therefore, speed of the gear four will be a more. Therefore, n four divided by n three is equal to four. And which is also equal to we have n four divided by n three is equal to four. Okay, so it is also equal to p three by p four. Okay, therefore we get three p three divided by p four is equal to four. Therefore p three is equal to p three is equal to Four into T four, four into T four. Okay. So we will put this value of T three in equation three. Therefore, T three plus T four is equal to one thirty five. T three is equal to four T four. Four T four plus T four is equal to one thirty five. Five T four is equal to one seventy five. Therefore, T four is equal to thirty five. I think so. It is thirty five. I will check here. Oh, T three T four is equal to T four is equal to thirty five. Now, T4 is equal to 35, and we have T3 plus T4 is equal to 175. Therefore, T3 is equal to 140. T3 is equal to 140. T4 is equal to 35. Okay. 
this is over the number of teeth on a gear okay so what is our final answer number of teeth on each gear we have we find out find the number of teeth on each gear okay but here the condition is given that the number of teeth on any gear should not be less than 20 if we see the number of teeth on each gear that is our value of t1 is equal to so we will see our next numerical on a compound gear so i will write here numerical a compound gear here numerical is based on a compound gear train a compound gear train consists of four gear
so we will solve this one for example so see here the compound gear is consist of four gear there are four gear we will mark this is a uh, the gear b is outside gear b this is gear c and this is gear d okay so the number the number of teeth on a gear a b c d r is given here given number of teeth means T1, sorry, you will mark here. T A is equal to 54. T B is equal to 75. T C is equal to 36, and T D is equal to 81. This is given. The gear B and C forms a compound gear. The gear B and C forms a compound gear. Means gear B and C both are mounted on the same shaft. This B or C are mounted on their this shaft. Okay. The if the gear A transmit the power means power at A or it is uh, we will see the input is given to the gear A. Therefore we will consider it as a P R. That is equal to input power, which is 90 kilo. Input power is equal to 90 kilo. Okay. So. Now here at 200 RPM means speed of the gear A is equal that is equal to 20 to 200 RPM and train efficiency is that is efficiency is equal to 80 kW means if we given here the power 9 kW then it is output efficiency will be the 80 percent here means. 0.8 into 90. Okay, this is efficient. Calculate the torque on output shaft. We have to calculate the torque on output shaft. Okay, so here we will start with the solution. Okay, so the speed ratio for this gear, the speed ratio or velocity ratio. Velocity ratio. The velocity ratio is for this overall gear train is equal to. We have formula of velocity of that is equal to n1 upon n4. N1 upon n4. It is equal to product of number of teeth on. The driven divider product of number of teeth on a driver. Okay, so uh, we uh, instead of A B C D we write here T B into C D divided by T A into T C. Okay. So it is equal to T B is equal to the number of teeth on B is equal to 75 into B is equal to 81 divided by number of teeth on A is equal to 54 and number of teeth on C is equal to 36. Okay, so if we solve this, we will get this value. And here L1, L1 is equal to 200 rpm and N4 is here. So if we solve this, we will get N4 is equal to. If we solve this value, if we transmit N4 is equal to 200 into T4 into 36 divided by 75 into 81, and N4 is equal to 60. Means on the end. We have only find out here. We have to find out the calculated torque on output shaft. Torque on output shaft and formula for power is equal to power is equal to two pi n t divided by sixty. Okay, here we have to calculate the.
torque. Here n is the speed and t is the torque. We have to find out the torque at gear D. Therefore, we have to find out power at D. Power at D is equal to 2 pi n at D into torque at D divided by 60 here n4 is n d we write 4 instead of d so n d n1 is equal to a so n d is here we require the speed of the gear d so for this purpose we find out here n d okay now n d is equal to this Remember this T is the torque. This T is the torque and this T is the number of teeth on a gear. These two terms are different. Okay, so but we have given that power input, means power input power is at a gear A. Therefore, power at a gear A is 9 kilo and efficiency is 80 percent. If this is, we have formula efficiency is equal to output upon input. The input is given to the gear A and output is obtained at the gear D. And we have efficiency is equal to 80% means 80 divided by 100 is equal to output power obtained at the gear D, which is not known. Therefore, we will consider output divided by input is input is given that 9 kilo 9 kilo therefore output is equal to 9 into 80 divided by 100 this will get cancelled the power output power is 7.2 kilo ok now Output power is output power is obtained in at a gear D. Therefore, P D power at D is equal to 7.2 kilowatt means P D is equal to 2 pi N at D into P at D divided by 60. Here T is for torque. 7.2 kilowatt, so we can write it in a bag to change this to 3 that is equal to 2 pi and 2. Speed of the gear D, speed of the gear D is 64 rpm into P and D divided by 60. So T D is equal to 7.2 into 10 to 3 into 16 divided by 2 pi into 64. 2 pi into 64. So, if we solve this, we will get this value. Td is equal to Td is equal to 1074 1074 point 295 295 This is the torque which is obtained at a gear D. And unit of this is Newton meter. Newton meter. This is the value of the torque which is obtained at the output of the shaft. Okay. So this is the our numerical, which is based on a compound gear trend. So these numerical are simple as compared to the epicyclic gear trend. So in the next lecture we will see what is epicyclic gear trend. How can we find out the number of teeth on each gear in a case of epicycle gear.